Hello everyone, this is a non with Canips training videos. Uh, so this series is about Citrix training, Citrix Canips 6.5 and this is part 6 of this video series. In this video series, I'm gonna, in this video actually, I'm gonna cover installing configuring site services, uh, service site for, uh, from the web interface role. Now site service service site is used by enterprise client and uh, and by the legacy client uh, legacy pn agent which is a program neighborhood agent uh, we're gonna now the default path for pn agent is the ci netpub on the web interface server and uh, we're gonna use this path which is http can of ctx1 ctx1 being our Web interface server Citrix within the configuration of the of the receiver. Uh, now, ab apart from adding this site, we're gonna we are going to configure Citrix site uh, Citrix receiver enterprise with a pass authentication. Now, the way to do this, first of all, why would we need to do this? We need to do this pass through authentication, which is this one pass through. It would let users to use their own, their logged in user ID and access the application instead of logging in again uh, by entering credentials. Just like in web interface, you have to uh, enter credentials again. By this, user doesn't have to uh, enter credentials, and as soon as they're logged in, they can see the published applications on their desktop or their or within the start menu. Now, in order to do this for all the clients, we can do this uh, through uh, GPOs. So this needs to be done uh, through a GPO. In GPO, we're going to add an ADM template that comes in this folder, Program File, Citrix, ICA Client, and Configuration. So let's start configuring services site. In order to do this, what we need to do, first of all, uh, again, if you're following all of the videos, we know that this is our licensing server. This one is my uh, Citrix CTX1 Citrix server. The same server is my web console as well, uh, which is open right here. And then this is my Citrix 2 server. This is not a web interface server. Then this is my client where we tested out last time uh, our client. So let's do that one more time. Let's log in that any client, uh, any user, published application, and if your web interface is working fine, uh, then you should be able to log in in a moment. Uh, so while this is logging in, let's come to our Citrix. Let's come to our Citrix here. And see, this is my web client. Now, in this video, we're going to set up the Zenf services site. This is not configured at the moment. So here, uh, these are the settings uh, for the website. So let's see if I am able to log in. Yes. Um, now, all I need to do is go here and set up the services site. Now, when you set up the services site, right-click, you create a new site. It asks you for the same question, just like we... Uh, so it uses the, that legacy name. It is known as PN agent, PN is a program neighborhood agent given to the Ashley to the to the receiver side. Uh, so for now we'll leave this as default. Next, it will create a site for us. Now this is uh, why are we doing this? Because there are two ways to connect to the published application. One way is to connect through the web interface. For web interface, we use the website. And second way is to, is to use connect through services side. Now, this services side, right after once this is installed, I'm going to show you that uh, we can connect through this agent, Citrus, Citrus Receiver. Now, the same Citrus Receiver that helped us working with connecting to website, same Citrus Receiver. Uh, we can connect to all these applications without going to the website. Uh, to to the website, so it just takes you to setting up the site. Uh, at the same time, while this is setting up the site, uh, well, we can okay. So it is set up. So once this is done, we'll 
you will ask a few questions. Same question, what is my farm name? So my farm name is farm. Uh, sorry, can a farm. And here I can add the Citrix and a server. So in my Citrix and a server, uh, one. And second one, it is. Actually, can it CTX2? So, CTX, yes, it is can of CTX2 where we added both of them. And here, as just like last time, we added a port. So, this port will be 88. Start working. For now, it is available to online, offline. This, this service will be available to dual mode, online clients, or offline. It is, it is available for both, so next, and then finish. So now this is done. And this is, this is actually the URL that we need to configure on the client side. So let me uh, take this URL. Uh, okay, so while before here, if I go here, I can see that uh, this is the URL, CTX1, uh, and then CTX. Be an agent. This will be. This is the same thing that we just saw here. So this is the link that we're gonna configure. On our, uh, you can type this. You can copy this. However you want to do. I'm gonna copy this from here for now. Uh, let's. So this is this is the site is created. Now within this site, how do you how do you access it? Uh, we can access first of all here. Uh, I can go into authentication method. Within authentication, it's for, for now it's saying prompt the user for authentication. Now what we're going to do, we're going to select pass to authentication. Pass to authentication is, uh, this is a default authentication. So we're going to select pass to authentication. We're going to select OK. Now what we need to do is, we need to go into the group policy and we need to apply a group policy on the domain level for pass through authentication. So here, I'm going to open administrative tool. I'm going to go to GPM. Now, although this server is just a normal server, but since Citrix is installed, you would find a group policy management. So you open group policy management, and as soon as you do, you expand. And here, the advantage here is uh, to access, you can access the group policy management from DC as well, but here we need to access it from here so that we can add the template. So right click on this domain and we are going to uh, add a new Citrix template. As you can see, so first of all, create a GPO. So we'll just go create a GPO, create a GPO. And we're going to call this, uh, we're going to call this services and next and then we are going to I click edit. Now this is we have all seen this how to create the GPO. So we just created a new GPO. Now under computer settings we need to go to policies. Under policies we need to go to templates and right here we need to add a template because so that's a trick template doesn't exist. Although you can see there are some Citrix policies exist, this we're going to see later. These are other policies, but for especially for, for password authentication, we need to add a template right here. So all we need to do, add, and we need to go to this location, program file, uh, Citrix, program file, Citrix, and then under uh, Citrix, we need to go to this location. Go to program file Citrix ICS client and then some configuration. I need to go to program file Citrix and find it here. Okay, so it's in program file x86 folder. It's right here. So let's go from here. Although it is supposed to be there, so again, we went here in administrative template. We right click on the template. And why are we doing this? We need to add a pass through authentication policy on the client. So we created a group policy, and now we're going to add a template. 
and that template it is in C drive. You need to go to x86, go to Citrix, go to IC8 client, and then configuration. And here is the ADM template that we need to add. You added this template, and this will add the classic administrative templates. You go inside components, Citrix receiver, user authentication, and there is this local. Uh, there should be local username and password and in this you need to enable this and here it says pass through authentication. Now once you do this, you click OK. It is enabled for password authentication. It's done. It is applied to a domain. I will jump onto a client here. We are going to go here, CMD, I'll say GP. So GP update is updating that computer policy. Otherwise, we should have we could have just restarted this computer. And that could have applied computer policy. We can see the result. Result slash R. We get the policy and here user settings, computer settings. Within computer settings, it applied computer services settings so it's fine policy is applied all we need to do right click this agent you can place this agent here and then so that we don't have to open it we can go to preferences here we can go to plugin uh, uh, connection Here we can go to here change server. Here we need to put in this URL. So the URL that we're gonna need is this exactly canf ctx1 canf and config file. Let's go here, let it here and update. Once this is updated, and we'll again go verify it one more time. Now in here, this done. We go here. All programs. You can see this right here. Now this notepad, this notepad, and this calculator is from Citrix. It is because Citrix services ran, and it is from here. Uh, if you right click on this, go to properties, it's showing us that it is coming from Citrix farm. So this is what services settings does. Now in this case, you don't have to log into the web client. All the users will do as soon as the user logs in. So here let's say log off. And user logs in. User login. User doesn't have to open web interface. The Citrix application, whatever is published for this user, they, they will be automatically available under start. So it's just logging in. While we see here, this is the policy that we just created. I don't need the uh, anymore. So my websites are working. My Citrix uh, site services sites are working. Even here, if I have a receiver, I can go down here, preferences, go to this plugin, and this is no active sessions. Here we can go and add the url is already added here it's fine and in here i also have and now they're not here what we can do is and i click here go to this I click here log on it's on this policy is not run yet it's not passed through this is just prompt so this is what happens when password authentication 
I'm not on this debt policy is not yet applied. If I do uh, if I do GP results, then it can run. So let's check this out first. On client, the client just have to go here, and they can just click on Notepad. And now this actually this application is opening right from Citrix. So guys, this is the main advantage of using services settings. Now we know two way of accessing these uh, clients. One way is through web services, uh, web interface. The second way is to services client. So we have successfully configured both of the services and the specific service receiver. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next